The co-working startup WeWork rents full-service offices to startups and freelancers who used to have to worry about things like printer toner and office snacks. The company is now valued at almost $17 billion and gearing up to meet its customers' biggest need of all, a place to live. Nick Lilly's office looks a lot like his apartment. Same mugs, same chairs, same coffee, same beer. That's because the 25-year-old former Goldman Sachs banker has an office in a posh WeWork co-working space and sleeps in a We Live, a commune run by the same company. After you. Thank you. A little bit like the, the uh, Goldman trading floor, but quieter, a little, little more polite maybe. Our team's right here. There's 13 of us. For Nick, the vice president at Sum Zero, a social networking startup for hedge fund workers, decisions are exhausting. We World gives his life a structure. Give me a sense of the, the, the social world. So you have Sunday night family dinner at We Live, followed by Monday morning breakfast at, at WeWork. It never, it never ends. The WeWork circle of life is what it becomes. Does your real family understand your We Live family? Uh, not really. Getting on the one train, going home. The subway's the only time of your day you're not in a We something. It's the only part of the day that I'm not We anything. Maybe one day there will be a Wii subway, but not yet. There are 98 Wii works, one of them in San Francisco, where I work with another Vice News producer. So far, there are only two Wii lives in the world, one in DC and one on Wall Street, where Nick lives with 400 others. Wii work exploded in popularity along with the startup boom under the premise that millennials, like Nick, will sacrifice personal space for communal luxury. So this is the honesty market. To me, it's one of the most we live things at we live. You know, there's all this stuff here. Nobody ever steals anything. It's great. Does it ever feel over the top? Like, does it ever feel like it's too much? No, like you, you get used to how fun it is. Like pe people come and visit you and it's like, oh, actually, hey, like I gotta throw something in the laundry. Let's just go play pool for 20 minutes. Nick's one bedroom deluxe goes for $4,875 per month, including free family style dinners, yoga classes and happy hours. He shares the apartment with his fiancée, Judy. Most of the sentimental-looking decorations at his home and office were chosen by a designer at WeWork, and Nick likes that. The business model relies on young people, but even as he gets older, Nick can't imagine living any other way. And you have no desire to have your own table that you buy. Someone else whose job it is is to figure out how to set up rooms, determine that this table would look good here. So I'm very happy to have someone, you know, whether it's Big Brother or Big WeWork, sitting in Chelsea, picking out how these things should look. The We Life gives Nick the time to do what he cares about. He likes to read Ayn Rand and the biographies of famous men, and he wants to focus on his startup. You just worry about living your life and working. It sort of gives you operating leverage in your, in your life. We went back to visit Nick and Judy. They say they plan to stay at We Live as long as they can. When they marry next year, they won't be registering for gifts. They're happy to share blenders and punch bowls with their fellow We people, at least for now. I do think that raising like a family and like having kids requires you to have many physical possessions. More possessions. Unless you have a we live for kids between the ages of four and twelve. That's true. And then you're all set. That's we true. could start that. So way. until okay. That could be us. But until it happens, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> 